This video demonstrates how to import national data changes that you receive from USBC. When you're transmitting files to us, you're making a physical connection to our server, picking up and sending files. So when you create a new transmittal here, the first thing it's going to do, the system WinLabs is going to check to see if you have any national data changes that need to be imported. So when you click the new transmittal and you get this message, you have received national data changes that you have not imported. You must import all national data changes before creating any new transmittals. What you would do here to clear this is click OK. And then at the top you see here it says sent and received. You're going to click on received and what you're going to find is that there are several national data changes at the bottom of the screen, bottom of the screen that need to be imported. What you would do here is you would click on the import data received icon button and it'll go through and it'll import the data. Now, whether or not you print any of this stuff out, in this case, we didn't do anything that you needed to, there was internal changes that were made. You would close it, and now you'll find that that one, when you click on it, has been imported. We'll do another one, import data received. And the national data changes are youth bowlers, they are award information, fulfillment information, membership fulfillment information. This is all data that we send to you so that you have the information in your WinLabs database. It synchronizes your database with our database. So importing these national data changes before you transmit is really a critical process, which is why we don't allow you to transmit without them all being imported. So we still have three more to go. So we're going to quickly import those. And one of the things that we also do is these are people who bought memberships online. Quickly, an overview on that is we will send you the information. We'll put this boulder in your database and we'll put them in with a national associate membership. And we will have already deposited money in your account for that bowler. And we still have two more to go. It's important to import these national data changes in the order that you receive them. Another one with not much. And then let's do the final one. And that's another bunch of members that were joining online. So this is the process of importing national data changes. Again, the information you're receiving are just changes that we had on our side um, here at headquarters. They are award fulfillment or statuses. Um, they are youth bowlers. If you have a youth program and the youth are processed through the online system and they're sent down to you, um, membership fulfillments, we fulfill in, we fill in the membership fulfillment date, uh, anything that happens here that you need to know about relating to your people. And again, these need to be imported before you can complete a new transmittal. Once they're all imported, you go to sent and you click on new transmittal, and now you will not get that message saying that you must import national data changes because you've already completed that process. This concludes the video on how to import national data changes.